Next is Keynes refuted Professor Spigu's contention that a cut in money wage could achieve full employment in capitalist economy. Means Spigu has said that if there is a cut in money wage, you know that when the wages are being cut, so it's very good for a production house because they are producing because of employing the laborers and if they have to pay less for the laborers then it's good for them so for them it is good because they will say okay we'll achieve the full employment in the capitalist economy they will be agreed for cutting the wages so how keynes have criticized this assumption keynes said okay all right you are saying correct we should reduce the wage rate and what will happen it will be beneficial for a single industry a single industry will be benefited by the wage rate reduction because if a company is being running and it is getting the workers in a low wage then it will be beneficial for them to produce because they will lower their product rates and their product rates when lowered will be demanded more okay we can agree that uh, this could happen uh, with only one company and an employment rise would happen but when we are talking about the whole economy then so when considering the whole economy when laborers would be paid less then the money with them will be less to consume products because they are only the person who will be consuming those products and when all laborers are having less payment less wages then they will consume less so when consuming less then demand will fall that means people will not demand much more products and the production will be more because producers are producing because they are giving less wages and the production is less costly so they will produce more so there will be abundant or the excess or the surplus of the products with them which are not being sold so when they are having the products with them they will not allow to make more products that means they will not be giving more employment to laborers because they don't need to uh, do work means employment will fall so keynes has said that pigu's contentions to cut wages uh, could be correct for a single or double industry but if we considering the whole economy this contention is incorrect next is state intervention is necessary for economic stability so we know that uh, keynes have rejected this consent that uh, production will happen and the demand and supply will happen automatically and the whole production will be used and full employment could be reached but keynes has said that if we leave the entire economy to run automatically then it cannot behave in that manner what we have thought of he said that for running it there should be some intervention of state or government in that market stability could be only attained when government intervene in this and that intervention can be directly or indirectly too for example if this is government then how it can help how it can intervene it can supplement deficient private investment it can help private sectors giving loans and so that they can be economic to us or it may can raise the level of economy by investing directly in some kind of project to increase the level of income or it may can pass out a legislation in law for minimum wages that they should be paid in any kind of company so that people could get work with them and employment may rise a very good example of this is when atal bihari vajpayee came into government in india and at that time economy was not good so at that time he had started a project named golden quadrilateral which connects kanyakumari to jammu and kashmir and from gujarat to west bengal a highway project was there and this highway project when being processed required cement labor tar stones mud sand iron many things were required and all these sectors who are making or producing these things got work with them and to produce this 
they hired people and employment also rose so this is also a kind of process which is being done by government at times keen suggested for this next is keen's criticism of classical theory the eighth point is importance of the short run problems keen has said this in a very comic way that when classical had narrated that full employment could be achieved in long run so keen said that in long run our society don't believe because they believe that in long run they will be not more they will be dead so they will emphasize only on short run so all these problems prevails in short run and you are saying that there will be full employment in long run and that's why classical theory was a fail regarding this point also so we have studied in the criticism of classical theory all these things so now we will understand how keen said given all the criticism in the form of a general theory means not only he has criticized the theory but also given his own general theory means he has given the solution for all the criticism also and this is the major revolution at the time of 1936 being introduced as the general theory of employment interest and money at times so we'll be continuing in the next part how keynes general theory was helpful at that time thank you